crew mentality. Put bombs on target on time. Saving lives through equipment. Earth to air, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. This is the F-15E Strike Eagle, an all-weather ground attack strike fighter designed for long-range, high-speed, deep strikes against high-value targets, combat air patrols, and providing close air support for coalition troops. With a max speed of over Mach 2.5 and the capacity to carry 24,250 pounds of external fuel and ordnance makes this the U.S. Air Force's premier ground attack aircraft. But before the F-15E can take flight, there are a few key players that get the F-15E earthbound to airborne. We here generate, facilitate, and repair F-15 Pratt & Whitney 220 motors. Our facility, when we uh, adopt the motor, we break it down, we assess what needs to be replaced on it, we inspect it for further, further maintenance, and from there we go on and decide what modules need to be uh, lined and uh, repaired. After the motor is assembled, it's, it's uh, inspected by a 7-level and sent to test cell. From test cell, the motor is then shipped out to the line and uh, ready for warfighting efforts. I work with the aircraft armament systems uh, on the F-15 Strike Eagle. What we do is essentially, you know, we, we're in charge of, you know, picking the bomb up, the munition. We will then take it over to the aircraft. Our supervisors, who we call one men, they're in charge of actually locking it in. My job, especially uh, three men, I, I'm in charge of driving, positioning the bomb or the munition. And then the, the one man's basic responsibility is just making sure it's, it's secure, locked in. That way it can fly safely and, and, and reliably. My job is every day we come in and we basically check the schedule, see who's flying, run through their equipment, it's making sure that all of their gear is serviceable and ready for their pre-flight. And the types of gear that we work on are the helmets, the masks, the G-suit, they have a restraint harness they also wear. Before each flight, we'll check it over, the air crew will don all the equipment, they'll walk over and run through a checklist to make sure that all their gear is good before they step to the aircraft. The offsets is kind of the main communication hub in the squadron. Um, they basically take care of uh, all the admin. Um, they make sure our, we're current to go ahead and fly, so we sign off our currencies here. They take care and do a lot of coordination with maintenance as far as um, if we need, if one of our jets are broken and we need to step to a spare, we go ahead and we call back and we talk to them. A lot of man hours on this aircraft. As you can tell, it's about almost 200% past its lifespan. So in order to do that, I have to work constantly to maintain, keep its weapon systems up, as well as its flight controls, its engine system, all primary components. Uh, my primary role is to maintain uh, this aircraft to make sure it is mission capable at all times. The benefit of this Strike Eagle is uh, having a front seater and a back seater. So what I can do is I can concentrate on keeping the aircraft safe and having us uh, always in a position to employ ordnance if necessary. Being a weapon system officer, it allows us to get weapons on target and provide that close air support to our joint forces on the ground. Without this concentrated effort, it wouldn't be possible for the F-15E Strike Eagle to complete its mission.